We've got another Power of One report for you tonight. Now, these reports focus on how one person can really make a difference, especially with all the noise that we hear out there. Some people can get past that and do some stuff. Let's bring in Kim Lengel once again. She's going to get us started. Interviewed somebody who's considered a game changer when it comes to tech startups, mm -hmm. and he's using his power out here to actually help out a neighborhood. Right? Yeah, it's a really great story, Rich. What if I told you you could fix a pothole with your phone or clean off graffiti with the Internet? You probably wouldn't believe me. While hundreds of new tech startups enter the market every day with the hope of being the next big toy, tool, or app. Few will break even, and even less will become a household name like Facebook and Twitter. But tech entrepreneur Ben Berkowitz, founder of C-Click Fix, is breaking all the rules. On tonight's Power of One, we learn how one man's enterprising spirit and technical savvy is allowing people to report problems in their neighborhood and hold governments accountable. This is a, a pothole that one of our users on C-Click Fix reported, uh, and it was fixed That's in a incredible. couple days. I know. Who knew you could fix potholes with your iPhone? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, and surprisingly, you can also get supermarkets with your iPhone. C-Click Fix is a 311 citizen complaint internet application for your handheld device or computer. If you see a pothole, graffiti, or simply want more street lighting, you can open up a request on the app, and when the work is completed, you'll be notified. Behind me is downtown New Haven, and this direction is the Worcester Square neighborhood. Hundreds of citizens every day walk back and forth. In the history of this bridge, there has never been any lighting on the bridge, and it was a totally dark Never, overpass. in a pedestrian walkway. Right. About two years ago, citizens started posting that they wanted uh, this bridge to be brighter. There was crime going on in the area. People didn't feel safe walking home, and hundreds of people came on and said, we want this fixed. As the number of votes piled up, the city of New Haven answered the request with energy-efficient solar lights. Pretty high-tech. But inside the office of C-Click Fix, we saw something surprising. Now, it wasn't the foosball table. It wasn't even the ping-pong table. And yes, Ben Berkowitz has a pretty mean smash. Oh! Yes! <laughs> No. And it almost went without notice. This is the boring list stuff. of things. Yeah, boring stuff. This is the list of things that have kind of been checked off over the last. We just started okay. doing this about five weeks ago. So, okay. so things people are but see, now working on. I would expect to see iPads taped up here, not yeah. paper. Well, we have to go analog once in a while just to keep it old school. <laughs> You know. On a tour of New Haven, it's so hard to find any part of the city that hasn't been like seen, clicked, or fixed. I personally am a fan of street art. Uh, I don't love street you know, art, but not graffiti. Right. I mean, you know, when someone tags up my building mm -hmm. um, with their name, uh, you know, I'd like a way to say that I don't want that done anymore. And right. you know, see, click fix has really become a tool for that. Was that the inspiration for this whole venture? Yeah, somewhat. Um, there was graffiti on my neighbor's building, and when I called City Hall to ask how I could get it removed, um, it was really complicated to do that. And actually, once C Click Fix was up, uh, graffiti was getting removed from the street within hours, um, as opposed to months or never happening at all. The company's slogan is power to the community, and the humble Ben Berkowitz says he thinks it's more about the power of the crowd than just the power of one. C-Click Fix is already up and running in cities like Philadelphia, Kingston, Boston, and San Francisco, just to name a few. Very cool. Story. Pretty cool. Absolutely, Kim. Thank